video covers creating and managing pages. This is something that you may want to do as the website evolves. So let's pretend that you are starting a new project um, that you'd like to create a page for. So first you decide where you want the post to live. Whether you want it to say under about, you can click to expand to see what's there. Under resources, you can click to expand. And so once you decide where you'd like the post to be, you can you have two options really. You can create a new page, and this will pop up several pre-made templates from Duda. Um, this is a great way to start if you're looking for a bit of inspiration, though you will need to change pretty much everything from the color to the layout um, to meet the kind of the style of the website. What I would recommend uh, as being a little bit easier is finding a page that you like the design of and copying it. So let's say you want to make something that has the same format as the clear writing services page. Click on that page, just double check that it's what you're looking for. Then click on the, the gear icon next to it and you can hit duplicate page. So then you have to give that page a new name and it will duplicate it. By default, uh, Duda will add that new page uh, to the bottom of this list. From there, just hover your mouse over the three little dots, and you can click. Oh, sorry, you can click and drag it, and then nest it under the page that you'd like it to be on. So you can just click and drag, and see it kind of like automatically will will nest to to add it where you think it works best. If you also want a page that exists, is findable via a URL, but uh, is not visible on the website. Say you're want, launching a, uh, a project that only a few people have an interest in and, and you're not really wanting to share it with a wider community. Um, you have a couple options. You can either then set a password and that will password protect the page. Or you can choose to hide in navigation. And if you click hide on all, it will only show up if you follow the specific URL for that page. It's the same way you've created everyone's uh, staff profile pages. So for example, you can't find Tamara's page in, in the header of the website. Um, it can only be linked to. So that's another option you might want to explore if you are, are making a, a page. So that's a quick introduction to managing pages.